Hey guys, it's Michelle. Welcome back to another video. So in the video today, I wanna to share with you six websites that I found super useful during my undergrad studies, and hopefully they'll be useful to you as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So my first recommendation is this website, Word Hippo. So once we've gone onto this website, it's a really great source for searching up antonyms and also synonyms. So for synonyms, for example, if we want to find another word for the word good, so we can do a search. And the great thing about this website is not only does it tell you another word for good, but it also categorizes the synonyms according to the definition that you're looking for. So for instance, if we, if we mean good in terms of pleasant and satisfactory, uh, adjectives that are synonyms to this are excellent, exceptional, appealing, delightful, enjoyable, great, likable, marvelous, nice, pleasant, and so on and so forth. But if we mean good as an adjective in terms of high quality, then synonyms for this would be perfect, excellent, flaw um, faultless, flawless, immaculate, impeccable, sublime, and so on. As well, uh, if we're looking for antonyms of good, so antonyms just mean opposite of something. So what is the opposite of good? Well, if we mean good as an adjective in terms of opposite of pleasant and satisfactory, then we have bad, deplorable, dismal, dreadful, detestable, disagreeable, disgusting, disheartening, and so on and so forth. So everything is categorized and it makes it really easy to find the antonym or the synonym of what you really mean. So this is, again, a really great website for when you're writing essays to avoid repeating the exact same word over and over again. So my second recommendation is word citation templates. So if we open up Word, then we see all these different templates, but say the template, the citation style template we're looking for isn't on here. So then we click more templates. And then we can search for example, APA style report. So APA just stands for American Psychological Association. And it's the citation style that we use most commonly in nursing. So I'll just do a general search. I'm just going to click on the first one here to show you guys. And then it's going to create the template for you. So here you see the researcher. I don't really use that often. So I'm just going to close it up. And then here we have the template. So do you see how everything is already labeled out for you? All you have to do is just fill in your info. So for example, the title, I'm going to name it Michelle's video, blah, blah, blah. My first and last name, Michelle L and then blah, blah, blah. I would fill that in and then I'll just take you through the rest. So here abstract Michelle's video heading, everything is already written out for you. All you have to do is just put in your info. Now, what if for one class you need to use APA, but for another class you need to use MLA, and then for another class you need to use Chicago citation style. So then in that case, I recommend the U Alberta guide. So we'll search U Alberta citation guides and click on that. It really did a good job in organizing all the different citation styles. And so here we have, of course, APA, and then we also have Chicago, uh, McGill, MLA, how to cite other writings, for example, those in Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. And then here, these are the more detailed guides. What I really want to point out to you are the quick guides. So if we look at the APA st citation style quick guide, and here, this is really like the bare bones of what APA is. So lots of examples here and how to include that into your essay. So say you want to look at a sample paper to understand how to apply the citation rules. So then I recommend Purdue OWL sample paper. So you just Google that and then it pops up with the APA sample paper, but there's also the MLA sample paper and also, I believe there's a Chicago one as well. You'll just have to kind of search around for it. So we'll just take a look at the APA one. And with this website, I consulted it many, many times throughout my undergrad studies. This website pretty much has everything you need to know for APA, MLA, and Chicago. So it pops up with the 
APA 7 student sample paper and also the APA 7 professional paper. And the difference between the two is that the professional paper is for people who are writing in the style for publishing. And the student paper is like if you're in university and you're just writing a paper for an assignment. Here is the student paper. So see how everything is already written out for you. All you have to do is just kind of like read the comments and see why it's formatted that way. All right, the last resource I want to recommend that has to do with helping you with citing sources is Citation Machine. So you just Google that and then it's the first one that pops up. So first you just choose your source and then um, it could be like a website, book, journal or others like audios and stuff. But I'm just going to take, I'm just going to share an example with you. So if we take the first source from the Purdue OWL sample, and then clearly it's a journal because it's in journal personality and social, and social psychology. So we'll go journal. And then you insert the DOI. So paste, search. And then it asks you, is this the source that you're talking about? And yes, the authors are the same, the journal is the same. Continue. And then it tells you to review some stuff. Um, some stuff. I'm just gonna skip it for now. Ta-da, it generates the citation. Um, the thing with the citation machine is that I do use these to quickly cite sources, but I always double check the citation that it generates because it does sometimes make mistakes. So I would just go in and verify that everything, the formatting and everything is correct. The fourth resource I want to recommend is Canva. So right here, once you've gone onto their website, you'll be able to design different, like for example, presentations, social media, um, content, videos, print products, marketing stuff, and so on. So uh, they also provide you with lots of templates that you can use, but I'll just kind of show you what it looks like. So for instance, this is my sister's account. Uh, she created this really beautiful presentation on James Walt. So for instance, this is what you can create with Canva are these like wonderful presentations. And also on the side here, you can see that there are templates for presentations, which you can just click on and then fill in your info again. And then here is another PowerPoint that you can create. So. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully that was useful to you. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.